Hello, my name is Alana Fitzgerald and I'm with the Flex Language Project. So here are the Flex team um, based at the University of Waikato in New Zealand. We have um, Professor Witten, um, who's the project lead, and he's one of the world's leading data mining um, specialists. And um, Dr. Xiaotun Wu, who is the, the lead programmer and research and development person at Waikato, who I've worked with closely over the years. So if I tell you a little bit more about myself, um, I have been in the language teaching um, field, ELT, for the last 20 years, but from 2011 I joined the open education movement and so I've been doing a lot of work with the Open University in the UK and I'm affiliated with the OER, Open Educational Resources Research Hub at the OU. And these are the different hypotheses that we are currently researching with the Flex Language Project. And I've just highlighted a couple here. One is focusing on reflection um, with language teaching professionals. And so, you know, when I met um, Maria Jose Marin um, via the internet, I just dropped her an email and said, hey, look, we've discovered your, your black corpus, your British law report um, corpus that you've built for your PhD work. And would you be interested in putting it into the Flex project? Because I'm having a hard time finding it online. And I think this is a very key issue with researchers who spend so much time developing these language resources, these corpus-based systems, um, which take a lot of time and energy. And then they either just disappear off the web or they never made it onto the web. They, they stay purely within the domain of research. So really at Flex, we're trying to build a system um, and a practice that enables language teaching professionals, research professionals, to get their corpora up and openly available to be of more benefit to the learning and teaching community. And of course, um, I've also got Hypothesis I there about transition. And um, we're, we're looking at um, how this explosion in online learning, this openness movement online with MOOCs and so on, how a lot of that content, if it is openly licensed, can actually be of benefit to the language learning and teaching community as well as benefit to the online and open learning informal communities. Um, so the key there is openly licensing content and I'll just tell you a little bit more about that now. So um, just very briefly there is two types of open access out there at the moment and we make the distinction in the open education world between gratis and libra and basically with the open access movement and research it means that you can access the research you can read it online for free great however when you are a materials development person um, you know you're a language teacher you want to develop resources or you're a corpus builder you want to take a lot of this openly licensed content and actually remix it and mine it um, as we have with the Flax project. So all of that um, text analyses that we do on top of the resource, this is where we need the resource to be licensed openly, usually with Creative Commons licenses, and this is what we call Open Libra. Okay, so this is the really key point with openly licensed resources. There's a lot of free stuff out there, but free doesn't mean open. We're really um, aiming for open. And because the Black um, is a good example of a corpus that's derived from openly licensed open access Libra content, this is um, showing us the way forward with how we can build corpora or any, any type of language learning resources. Uh, but the key point there is open Libra. This is our vision at Flex. We want to put the control back where it belongs in the hands of teachers and learners. So you decide what content goes into the collections and that can be you know, culturally specific, domain specific, whatever you want. And what I'm trying to show you by building collections directly on our website is that there is a lot of openly available content now that can be used as well. And that's a big part of what I'm trying to push with this project. Uh, with the open education movement is that, you know, with the rise in online learning and with the rise in Creative Commons licensed material, you know, we're just blowing the whole scene open 
for language teaching to go in a much more authentic and ground up and you know hands-on um, approach which is um, directed by by the teachers, by the learners, by the researchers, and not directed by the textbook industry, which is only going to give us very generic type resources, because that's all they can ever fit into their you know, print-based materials. And we're also going to push beyond what the dictionaries for learners can do, because we're going to give you a lot more authentic examples from the texts that are of interest and from the multimedia that are of interest to your particular subject group, whether they be studying legal English or business English. Flex is multilingual. We just need experts from the linguistics community to get involved so we can crowdsource um, a greater vision for language learning and teaching, whatever the language may be. Thank you very much for your attention and all the very best. Goodbye.